So the other day I was using my Toro electric leaf blower and then it kept dying on me and I let it cool down for a while, turn it back on and it would start working and after doing that enough times it finally got to the point where it wouldn't turn on at all and I was a little disappointed because this has been a very good unit. This particular model claims that it draws uh, 12 amperes or they call it a 12 amp motor and so I thought you know I'm going to take this thing apart rather than just throw it in the trash and see what I can do. Now, um, I kind of suspected there might be an issue with the motor drawing too much power from possibly a shorter winding or maybe some leaves getting up inside of here. And so I first took it apart. There was 13 screws here. One of them happens to be behind the label. And when I got it apart, I looked inside and everything looked pretty healthy. I made sure that the motor spun freely. When a motor is restricted from turning the way it wants to, it'll draw a lot more power, of course. So I made sure there were no problems there. And my second thought was, well, maybe the motor's got a problem or maybe the uh, circuit breaker here was not closing like it's supposed to. Now, this particular circuit breaker has the ratings on the side of it here. It claimed that it's uh, designed for 13 amps and 125 volts. So first thing I want to do is find out, am I pulling more current than that through the, uh, through the motor? So I decided I could put my... Uh, my amp meter on the line powering the motor and check it that way or use my watt meter. Now this is something I don't use that often anymore but I remember the last TV shop I worked at my boss would always require us to use a watt meter on any TV we fixed before we send it out to the customer. The whole idea was that for example if you saw the back of the TV and it said that it used 200 watts you plug it into your watt meter and you see that it's pulling 220 watts there was always a possibility that the part you replaced to repair the TV didn't solve the whole problem, that maybe there was another problem lurking. So my boss would always have me uh, test out the watt meter. Um, another way, of course, is to use your, your inductive amp meter. You simply clamp it on one of the wires going to the device. It'll show you how much current you're using. But anyway, I went ahead and I checked the motor on this unit here, and I, I was surprised to see that I was only drawing about... Uh, 1000 watts on, on this motor in the high setting and that would be about 8.4 amps since uh, po the power something uses is uh, determined by multiplying the voltage it uses times the current it uses so in this case if it were really a 12 amp motor that would be 1452 watts and considering I'm only drawing a thousand watts here using my amp meter I'd say that we don't have anything to worry about as far as this motor, unless there's an intermittent short that occurs now and then. Anyway, for the time being, just to test it, I went ahead and put a cap on here, and it seems to be running good. Now, um, this uh, particular circuit breaker uh, does have part numbers on it, if this is something that you're working on and you want to put a new circuit breaker in it. I suppose you could just cap it off and use it that way, although... Uh, there's always a risk that if there is a problem and the circuit doesn't open up, you're going to burn up your motor uh, and possibly ruin it or possibly catch fire. Probably not, but uh, that's a risk you take when you go ahead and cap something like this. On the other hand, you're holding it in your hand. You kind of know what's going on. If you see smoke pouring out, I think you know how to turn it off. But for safety purposes, a lot of the manufacturers are required to add a lot of safety devices like this, a little circuit breaker. And uh, in this case, it went bad. So um, I'm glad to see that's all it was. Hated to have to buy a new one. So anyway, again, there's the, the model number of the circuit breaker, in case you happen to be working on one of these units. As always, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I should have mentioned this too. This is another watt meter here that you commonly see on the market. You're not likely to see too many of these around anymore. This is an old Robin Air. But uh, yeah, there's an old, there's a more modern version there, a digital one. Just plug your device into there. It tells you how much power you're choosing.